The Going Merry model kit from One Piece released in 2010 is about to set sail among my paint supplies. This is a commission from my good friend Rayo Andal and also my first time building ships straight out of the anime. For a 2010 model kit, there's one flaw I'm sure every builder dread about Gunpla or even dated high grade kits and it's going to be the lack of color separation which we're about to find out in this box. There's a shit ton of parts to run through this box but surprisingly the colors aren't too demanding once I paint this kit, however masking will be involved all over the place to separate the colors. So with that out of the way, it's going to be a long way to build Noah's Ark. Tomdoro build. Whee! Okay, uh, this was another surprise. I expected the build to take me at least a day but all it took was 3 hours for the straight build, without the stickers of course. I thought I'd show the kit without them just to show how much colors are lacking in this build. Upon closer inspection, I underestimated this kit expecting this model to lack colors but the missing color applications that the stickers don't come with shows there's a lot of missing details and it got my head scratching thinking what steps should I approach to completing this project. Nevertheless, Going Mary is amazingly detailed even without the stickers. Whether you prefer slapping on stickers or decide to paint it is up to you, but it will help bring the best out of the ship's look and to break up the dullness of the build. You get two sets of decal sheets, both a water slide decal and a peel on sticker to apply onto the ship's sail and on both sides of the mini flags. And I appreciate that because I thought I'd have to hand paint the skull logo by myself, but the water slide is a one time use only, so patience is key and, well, not to fuck it up. As you can see, the biggest offense of this kit is, well, this, and it covers a huge chunk of the missing details of the ship as I talked about earlier. The white strip of stickers cover the guardrails of the ships, the gold rim stickers are for the windows. Red stickers make up for the stripes on the back sails and the horizontal black sticker covers this area surrounding the ship's hull. Even with all the stickers applied, certain details will have to be painted by hand that the manual doesn't provide but with the power of Google, there are slight color variations you can choose from that suits to your liking. Of course, a ship is not complete without her crew. We have Luffy assembled in three parts from hat, the upper body and the lower body, Zoro that comes in one piece, pun intended, and a separate piece for his sword. Usopp that is also assembled in 3 piece, Sanji I assume would be the easiest one to paint, Nami which I'll give a different color variation and Chopper the dear boy. Pun still intended. We do have added accessories like this barrel here, a crate, a fish basket which I'll also give slight color variation to separate the dullness, and this rope with an anchor that can be trimmed to attach onto the ship. Standing platforms are provided for the crew and should be glued onto it for display. After analyzing this dull pearl, it's time to bring out my tools and do what I do best. Not walk off the plank. My thought process into going about this kit is seamline coverage that are glaring and mostly noticeable in the figurehead of Going Merry, where the gap runs across vertically including the horns and the notoriously hideous gap that runs alongside the guardrails of the ship, which to this day I still don't understand why Bandai continues this approach, even in modern high grades. By simply applying putty with a slight mixture of thinner to spread the contents evenly, to cover the gaps and then dry it out for at least 24 hours before sanding should do the job. While waiting for 24 hours, I begin scribing the figurehead for finer and sharper details to highlight the expression of Mary. The challenge I face for someone who is not familiar with the series is the color variation in the instruction manual, the manga, the anime which also has its own color variety. Heck, even the Soul of Jogokin brand took liberties that didn't exactly follow the source material. Well, sort of. So I would often go back and forth to which colors worked best so I took a break for nearly a month because of creative burnout and I had to clear my head and one thing led to another during my break. And yes, all my recordings are done through my phone since I don't have a decent equipment but I make the most of out of what I have at my disposal. Sadly, I didn't save the rest of my footage to my drive so it's unfortunate this video will be missing most of my work in progress and I'm just filling in the noise for commentary.
After three months, the Going Merry is ready to set sail and man, the fun I had with this project surely is gratifying. Once everything is painted and settled, the difference between the out-of-the-box build and the final output is like dressing up a person to look presentable. This kit did test my decision making. I had to mix a couple of source materials like the cannons that should have been in black iron coating, but I gave it a gold look instead to let it stand out. I opted with pre-shading the deck of the ship to give a defining look of dirty floorboards I forgot to mention there were no stickers for the doors on deck, therefore you will have to paint on them yourself. Color choices were mostly referenced from the Soul of Chugokin figure, and I gave the ship's hull a burnt umber color for realistic effect. Of course, let's not forget the ship's little inhabitants that I will surely miss once I give this back to the owner at the time of this recording. This kit was released 12 years ago and it really showed a mark of an outdated kit that proved to be a challenge even for someone like me. Despite the small complaints I talked about this kit at the beginning of the video, this kit will stand out on display whether it's painted or just tapping on peel on stickers. I do want to point out that this will not float on water, Jack. But that'll be all for today. It's time to set sail to the Grand Line and thank you for watching. Build safe, stay safe, see ya!